Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Car Fleet. In today's video, we're putting on the 29s onto the Civic. So these are these are the 235, 75, 15s on 15 by 7 inch rims. We got ourselves a set of 29s on the stock Civic rims. We are going to be going to my parents again and putting them on. Obviously, they are not gonna fit. They're not just gonna bolt up and we're gonna cruise. They're gonna take some modifications to make these suckers fit. These are some beefy boys. Let's flash to my parents' house in three, two, one. Alrighty, and just like that, we are back at the Civic. Now, I looked at these rims. These are six inch wide rims. So that's why I think it was a concern. Let's throw them on, see if they work. I'm super curious. I don't think they'll be able to fit on. Like there's no way, is there? Oh, no, there is zero chance. Look how close the shock tower is. We're definitely gonna need spacers. The rear we we might be okay. Could use a spacer. But you can see I'm I'm worried about this fitment here, right? Because once we put it on, these things are literally almost double as wide as the stock ones. This might have hope in the rear. This actually mounts up. All I did was I just hammered this so far. You might not believe me when I say this. All I've done is hit one spot back so far. I just I'd hit one spot with the sledgehammer. This fits. Now, obviously, super tight, super tight. The front. If we cut this to the max there, oh, we'll have so much room. But look under here, guys. It literally doesn't rub anything. 29s, 75s. Look at this. So you can see nothing's rubbing. Now look up there. You see how close it is? But nothing is rubbing. I cannot believe that. You just throw 29s on, all you gotta do is dent in this little spot and you can run them in the rear. That is absolutely insane, hey guys. If we actually get spacers, kick them out two inches, we will have loads of room. We can cut up to as far as my finger is there. So we can cut this high. Oh, that's, that's more than enough. Okay, so as far as the front goes, I knew this was gonna be an issue once I realized how wide these tires were. Hits the shock. Now, all we gotta do is get a two inch spacer. Thousands of tears later. We got the spacers, baby. So, one problem with these. They're four by 100, so that'll fit. No worries there. Lug, stud, things are the same. No problems there either. The only problem is this will fit on the vehicle fine, but to put the rim on, it's gonna be a millimeter too small. So I might have to bore each rim a millimeter bigger. We're gonna bring them to my parents' house though, so we're gonna use the classic teleporting method and i'll see you guys there here's the moment of truth everybody okay so it's right to the back there i believe that works to the car 57.1 hub centric and this the civics of 56.1 so you're gonna see that that millimeter of play but we have those these acorn nuts that will center it out so the, the biggest thing though is we're gonna put these on there and then we're gonna test the rim, but I don't think it'll work now. Exactly what I thought, guys. Everything fits, except, if you look, it just won't sit. It just doesn't wanna slot, which is fair enough. It's, it's a millimeter difference. All right, but. guys, so Rona is only five minutes from my house. I just picked these up. So this should do the trick. We just need that millimeter, so put it in my drill that I brought along, the old Milwaukee. Just give it around the lip. Once it slides on, we'll just leave it at All that. All right, guys, this method works. It does take some elbow grease, but look at that. Perfect fit, guys. It doesn't get better. Like, I sanded it a little bit, tried it. So, like, you just pop it in, and it's in. You can see it's spinning. I might take a little more out just so it's not, like, super tight fit. But you can see it's all the way in now. Beauty, guys. $20, pick this up. Keep sanding this, keep testing it. You don't want to go way too big, but that is perfect. Guys, I could not be more excited right now. Look at this Civic. What a freaking beast. No chopping it. Just hammered this back. This is, a, remember, we're still going to chop this, so don't worry about that for now. But this is on the ground on its own weight right now in the rear. So I had to put the acorn nuts in the spacers and then I used the nuts that came with the spacers out here because the acorns, they were too too short for the stud. So I had to use these guys on the outside. Hey guys, we got the front on. Front stick out a little further than the rear. But the, re the, the reason I got the two inches was for the front to begin with. So now you can see we got 
some clearance there. So that's exactly what we needed. Everything else is fine. We might be able to clear this. Definitely won't be able to clear back here though. So we're gonna chop eventually. Can do a little comparison. We got kicked out on this side and tucked on this side. So sick though, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish all these up. It's not that entertaining. All I'm doing is sanding and it freaking takes a little decent while. So I'm gonna sand it up guys and I'm just gonna throw them on, save us some time here and show you guys when we are done in three, two, one. All right guys, just like that, we are ready. So we plugged the battery back in. I got rid of all the freaking gross gunk that was on it. So what we're gonna do guys is let's check our steering radius see if she fires too that's a it's a honda so i'm hoping so i haven't charged the battery or anything but let's just see here Whoa, oh, boys so barely turned at all and we're already robbing right on this guy which isn't ideal let's check the other side yeah exactly what i thought so I think it's safe to say, guys, there's not really much of a point driving this thing right now, just because it can barely freaking turn. We have all four wheels on. Now, for part three of the Civic build, we are going to be hacking it up a little bit to get these to fit, and we should be able to take it on a test drive next time. If you guys are interested in seeing that, subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.